Hello, fellow YouTubers and retainers. I was just about to head out to the gym, and I had a new idea for a video that I would like to share with the community. Is semen retention a new spiritual awakening to counter the matrix that we have all been living in? Question mark. What do you guys think? I'm simply going to express my opinion here today. I'm not claiming to know. As a matter of fact, I'm a new retainer that's 50 some odd days on my streak. There's many other great YouTubers out there like Vigor Warriors 2, who's I think a thousand plus days, and other YouTubers that have been posting semen retention videos that probably know more than me. But my question is, is this a new awakening amongst men? We have suffered for many years through the matrix suppressing our masculinity and our manhood through spicy content on the internet, videos, pictures, social media. And we have been spilling our seed and our energy, giving it away according to what society says is right. But now, is this a new awakening? And how old is... Well, we know semen retention goes way back hundreds of years. There's ancient texts about it. And there's also famous men like Tesla and... You guys know all the ones that Mike Tyson, Muhammad Ali, that have practiced this. So we know it's been around. But is it becoming a new mainstream movement amongst men around the world now? Like, has it been invigorated and renewed? S someone, you know, a, a fad. I don't want to call it a fad because it's not really a fad. It's an, a spiritual awakening. But... We could use that as a comparison how in society if a fad happens like remember the macriana dance i think it was called mock something like that or a certain wave of influence or something becomes viral and popular and i'm wondering if semen retention is that now i'm going to go ahead and give you my christian viewpoint i am not trying to push my christianity on others so if you don't want to listen, you can stop now. But I respect all religions. But this is just all I know is because I was raised a Christian. So my knowledge is about God. And so I'm going to tell you what I, just my opinion. And you can disagree in the comments or it's okay. I won't take offense. But my opinion is God sees the debauchery of society and he loves us so much you know he created us and he wants to give us a way out or he wants to show us what it's what it can be to walk with him and retain your seed because let's face it semen retention is a spiritual walk and you receive amazing benefits from that and so I believe God wants to awaken us. And I'm going to give some examples here. <clears throat> so in Romans 8, verse 11, the power of the Holy Spirit. So I'm, I'm starting to lean towards the idea that when you retain your seed, you are now right with God. And he can give you the power of the Holy Spirit. So, as a Christian, I believe once you've retained your seed, you've cast away that demon of lust. Yes, you're going to battle with it. You may relapse, but God is forgiving. But as long as you get back on the retention streak and you're retaining and you're walking and you repent and you keep going forward, he will, you will open yourself up to the power of the Holy Spirit. Jesus said before he left the earth that, my spirit I will give you. And Romans 8, 11, 
because Christ once went through pain for sins, the upright one taking the place of sinners so that through him we might come back to God being put to death in the flesh but given life in the spirit. Right there, given life in the spirit. So we put to death in the flesh. That means, that's semen retention. You put to death the flesh. Before you were taint, before I was retaining, I was doing fleshly things, carnal things, pursuing fleshly things that pleased my flesh, like sex and fapping and lusting. So when you retain your seed, you put to death the flesh. It's, it's a metaphor. It's not like you're actually killing yourself, but you're putting away the desires of your flesh that you're born with. Okay? And then you're given life by the power of the Holy Spirit because now God can fill you with the Holy Spirit because you're, that demon of lust is out of you and your temple's open for blessings from the Lord. Sin or releasing or looking at the, the hub and stuff, websites with lusting after whatever you're lusting after, it puts a barrier between you and God. And then here's another one. Uh, if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will give life to your mortal bodies also through his spirit who dwells in you. So if you're watching dirty stuff and you're releasing your seed and your power all the time and you're smashing girls and you're just doing things of the flesh and of what society says is cool. Well, do you think God can really come into your life and give you power of the Holy Spirit? I don't think so because he wants to, but you've put a barrier between the, the sin, between him and you, and you've turned yourself over to the evil spirits, to Satan, to demons, and now they are controlling you and they hate you they want to kill you so they're destroying you so once you put that aside and you're retaining your seed <clears throat> now you've put away the demonic oppression at least hopefully all of it now I'm not an expert but this is what I think and then God can fill you with the Holy Spirit and then that's why you're receiving the physical and spiritual benefits of semen retention. They're not just physical, they're spiritual, maybe more so spiritual. When you get that female attraction, you are, it's not, I don't think it's so much physical, it's they're sensing your clean power of the Holy Spirit in you, which is pure and good. It's not evil and dirty. I've talked about other videos where I sense dirty spirits. I can feel them. Well, when you have the Holy Spirit, it's a loving, clean, attractive spirit. And all human souls are attracted to that. That's why you're getting that attention. And men like Vigor Warriors, who's been on 900,000 plus day streaks, he says it's, he's getting it at the age of 61. So it's real, and they're attracted to your spirit. I notice, like today, I walked by a girl. I stared right at her. I wasn't trying to do anything, but she looked at me, and she obviously felt something because she just looked away and then looked back and smiled. So she feels your aura and so do men. And I believe it's the, the Holy Spirit that's been, that's dwelling in us. And when you have that, you're getting your energy, your attractiveness, 
that's why people respect you. They want to do things for you. Guys have talked about business opportunities coming to you. Uh, they've talked about people giving them free things, giving them money. Things just happen. Well, it's the Lord blessing us, guys. This is my opinion. It's a theory, but I think it might be spot on. But I want to share it with you guys because I want to get your thoughts and then we can discuss it more. But I'm going to go hit the gym and use some of my uh, pent-up energy for making a better version of myself and working towards that better body. And I uh, hope this helped and I hope we can uh, discuss it further. Have a good night.